So once your tags are in, whether you did that or not, um, I'll show you how to make a storefront right here. So go back to products, and then right here you have the option for storefronts. So you can make as many of these as you want, unlimited, and the only requirement is that you have at least two shirts made. So once you have two shirts made, you can put them into a storefront. So here's one for you right here. Let's just go ahead and view it, um, show you what it's like. So this is the hosted website that um, Teespring makes for you. They pay for the hosting and everything. You don't have to pay for that at all. Um, this is the URL that it'll give. So you can actually just shorten this with like um, bit.ly. I'll show you that. You can come in um, bit.ly. And what you can do, this is a little shortcut, is you can just copy this and paste it here. And now this is something that you can um, put, you can share, just make it a little bit easier. You can share that on social media, um, in your social media profile. And people can click that and it'll bring them right to here. The other alternative is to go somewhere like Google Domains. Um, not many people know about Google Domains, but I definitely recommend it because it's like buying domain names from the wholesaler. You get it for, most of them are $12 a year. So if you have a company name um, that you want to use, like obviously brand name is going to be taken, but brand name shirts that might be available. That's probably going to be taken. That's a pretty popular, yeah, like that's taken. But um, you can see all the domains right here. So brand name shirt, that's available. So you, what you can do is you can buy that and you add it to your cart, buy it right through Google, and then it's $12 a year. So whether you renew it next year or not, it's only going to cost you $12, so a dollar a month. And what you can do then is you can um, forward this right to here. So when someone goes to, you can share brand name shirt or whatever your company is, .com, people click that, it'll bring them right here. Easy as that. And then, then they think that it's brandnameshirt.com. So every time they want to go to it again, they just type in brand name shirt or whatever your website is, bring them right back here. So that's a really easy fix to get your website for $12 a year. So I recommend that. That's a great way to do it. Or you can just shorten it and share it. That's free. But this is what the website looks like. You get a banner right here. You get to make that. Um, the company, you can have an about section if you want. Um, home. And then all this is, is all the shirts that you've made that you think are fit for this niche are available in one place. And you can have as many pages as you want, as many shirts as you want in here. Someone likes it, they can come in and they can buy it right here. So just like that, puts all your shirts in one. So now this is your company website. As easy as that. That's why it, it makes it so simple. People go and they, they try to make a Shopify. It's $25 a month when all you need, this is the exact same thing and it's completely free. So that's how you make the storefront. So then what you're gonna do here, let me show you how to edit it real quick. Let's go back. And so when you have your storefront made, well, what you're gonna do obviously is create a new storefront and you just put in the name of it and then create store. Then I'll make one of these with nothing in it. And then you'll just hit edit store. And then here you can you can do the um, the header. You basically just customize everything as if you're making a website banner. So what you're gonna do is most important for you is if you didn't add the shirt um, while you were making it, you know how at the bottom we had that little option to put it in a storefront and then hit launch. Now if you, if you didn't do that, so you come into products, you just search for whatever. Well, actually first you hit add products. And then you search for whatever shirt you want and you just you select it just like that and then hit done. And then it'll add that right to your storefront. And then this will show you all the shirts that you have in there. You can delete them just like that. Um, hit done, you're good to go. So that'll just add or remove shirts to your storefront. It's, it's literally as easy as that. You just go back to your dashboard and you're good to go. So that's your storefront right there.